Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Digium Live. We are really excited to have two people from one of Digium's um, best distributors, Ginny. And uh, we have today with us today Frank Uhas, who's the uh, manager of business development at uh, for Digium at Ginny. And then we also have Patrick Howard, who is the senior director of cloud solutions and product management with Ginny. And we're really excited to have you guys. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, great. So um, for those on the, who are watching today who aren't really familiar with who Jenny is and what you guys do, why don't you tell us a little bit about your company? Sure. So uh, Jenny is a privately held company. Uh, we're a national distributor. We've been in business since the late 80s. We focus on selling telecommunication solutions, telephony solutions, video conferencing, um, on-premise security, and also networking product to resellers. We don't sell end users. We're strictly a, a value-added distributor serving the reseller market. All right, great. So, um, so we have many, many resellers that watch the show. Um, and so if you can tell um, some of our partners that we have that what are some of the um, trends in the industry that you guys pay close attention to and what are some things that you're seeing out there today as far as uh, trends in technology? So obviously one of the big trends that we're seeing and everybody is is cloud. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, marketing out there on cloud, there's a lot of buzz around cloud, and we're seeing more and more of our vendor partners building cloud solutions, more of our resellers getting requests from end users for cloud solutions. Um, we're seeing really kind of rapid accelerated growth in certain cloud categories that are out there. So for example, Hosted Voice is a very popular cloud deployed solution, which we're excited about the Digium relationship with cloud because there's a lot of demand for it. Um, video conferencing is another um, quickly um, a growing cloud deploy type of solution. So um, cloud is just a, a big piece of the business out there. It's growing and a lot more of our resellers are asking for that type of uh, technology deployment model. Great. Um, so when you guys look at a new, adding a new product um, for Jenny to sell, what are some of the things that you guys look for in, um, in a new product? So the first thing is we're looking for very strong companies. Um, there's a lot of companies out there, whether they're doing on-prem solutions or they're doing cloud solutions. Uh, we want to make sure that we are working with and bringing to market the really the best companies. Their solutions are strong, excellent solutions. Uh, their executive teams, um, financially stable. Really, the, the quality leadership and stability of a company are very, very important to us, along with their solution. Some other really important things to us and our partners are um, we need to make sure that we're bringing profitable uh, solutions to, to the market. There's a lot of commoditized solutions out there in IT. One thing that we look for is making sure that we're bringing profitable solutions to the marketplace. If our resellers can't take it to market um, and make money doing it, then you know, we, we don't necessarily want to focus on those type of solutions. So we're all about bringing profit and value to the supply chain. And companies that have a good um, profit profile is something that we're looking for. In addition, they need to be channel focused. I mean, a lot of the uh, vendors out there, you'll find sell to end users direct, they send to partners direct, they sell through distribution. We really wanna find vendor partners that are focused on one go to market strategy and really reduces and get, gets rid of that channel conflict that you see out there at times. Right, right, okay. So you guys have been selling Switchbox, the on-premises version for a while now. So how do you see that product really fit into your reseller's portfolio? Well, um, mainly what we see is resellers that, uh, um, you know, are, are expanding their telephony lines um, from maybe, you know, a one that's been around longer uh, to something that has uh, everything unlocked like uh, Switchbox has. And um, they're finding it, you know, with the, the GUI interface and not having to uh, read code, so to speak, uh, they're finding it much easier and user friendly for both them and if you know it's deployed in a um, environment with an IT department, they find it easy to use as well. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about cloud now. So you guys recently signed up um, with us to be a master agent for Switchbox Cloud, and we're really excited to have you guys. So how does cloud fit in that same portfolio? So cloud, I mean, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, more and more of the end users out there are looking for cloud deploy solutions, especially in the SMB and mid-market. And we now have the ability to meet that demand and meet those needs for those end users through our resellers. So 
we are so excited to have the opportunity to take um, Digium Cloud solution to market. And actually, since we've started our partnership in cloud, uh, we've seen quickly a lot of our resellers express interest, sign agreements, and we've already had um, a good number of deals that have closed. So um, very excited about it. It's a great product. We get great support from Digium. And our reseller community out there, they have a, a quite an appetite for the cloud solution from Digium. We're very happy with how things are going so far. And uh, excited about the quick, quick out of the gate growth that we're seeing. Right. So, kind of a side question: What do you guys see as the biggest drivers to the cloud? Why are why are the in the end user base? Why are they moving? Um, what are some? Uh, of the yeah, good question. So, if you think about an SMB, um, and you're starting a new business or you have a small business, cash flow is always a concern. I mean, cloud is an operating expense model. There's no big outlays of cash up front to buy a lot of infrastructure on prem. Now you can get uh, voice in a hosted type of deployment and you're paying as you go. Um, there's month to month options, so you have the ability to you know, scale your business or, or seats or reduce them based on how your business flows, if there's seasonality or changes in your, in your market. Um, it gives you a lot of flexibility and it's just easier to manage in a CapEx or an operating expense model versus CapEx for a lot of SMBs. So that's really um, a big attraction. The other thing is, is that when it's a cloud deployed solution, it's always up to date with the latest and greatest features. It's not an on-prem box that is what it is. Um, it's something that's constantly being updated. And anytime that you log in and you're going to use the service, it's always up to date with the latest features and technology. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. So one of the challenges that we've seen in the uh, reseller community in kind of the growing pains that happen when you move from an on-premises business model, that's kind of what you sold forever and you, you're used to having revenues and large um, large revenues up front to now change to a cloud model to where you might not get anything or some or very little up front, but then get a recurring revenue revenue check in the mail. Have you seen that those kind of growing pains in your channel and and what what kind of things do you talk about to overcome that? So we've seen we've heard some concern around that, um, but we've also seen that a lot of our partners are looking at the new cloud offers that we have along with Digium is incremental business. It's business that they weren't capturing in the past because they didn't have a cloud offer. They're not necessarily completely changing their business model into 100% cloud. They're going to continue to sell on-prem, um, keep those revenue streams flowing, but they're going to start to build their cloud business and, and kind of grow that increment incrementally alongside their on-prem business. So we're not seeing a 180 degree shift between part with partners. They, they're looking at this incremental additive new business that they're bringing onto their portfolio. As they grow, they have to think about different things. You know, do I need to really carve out the cloud business? Maybe have a separate spin-off type of organization with you know different sales folks and marketing. Um, I think that might happen to partners as the business grows. But from what we've seen so far, they're able to respond to the need and build up new incremental business that they weren't getting before, and it's not disruptive to their revenue streams. Uh, and, Frank, what and, you'd add to that? Yeah, and that's what I would say too, Brian, is um, we are seeing some of the partners that are maybe with a, a different uh, PBX offering that don't scale down to, you know, uh, with Cloud 5 users, and, you know, they're turning that business away or turning it to someone else that maybe can fit that niche more. So while they can continue to grow their business, they can capture this uh, this new business as well for them. Yeah. And, and for the partners out there, there are born in the cloud partners who started their business with cloud-based uh, solutions. This fits right into their world. Um, but without the existing VARs and system integrators and dealers, this is a great way to drive incremental business and take advantage of the market that's out there. And Brian, we've also, what I've seen is companies where they've grown and they have a current switch box, um, they will take like two divisions. The one will keep the on-premise unit and then a smaller division will go into the cloud and they'll all still, you know, they're familiar with the interface, they're familiar with the menus and everything. So it's seamless integration for them to, to keep growing. Yeah, and now because Cloud and on-prem are really the same software. They can be connected together and peered together, and they kind of a hybrid solution. And whether they're in the small division or large one, they can still see each other and connect. So it really makes it seamless. I think. One of the other things we're finding is that um, the advantages of Switchbox is that 
because we, again, we, we are the same product in the cloud as we are on prem from a sales perspective. And Frank, you might run into this, that you only have to sell one thing. So you're not having to go from, Hey, I'm going to sell you this on premise. Oh, you don't want that. Let me sell you something completely different in the cloud. Now you just say, here's Switchbox, and you can deploy it however you want. Have you seen that in the market? Yeah, too? exactly. I've seen, um, um, you know, the different models from the other competitors out there, and it seems like this solution's easy for them to digest and understand because it's literally just four price levels, month to month, one year, two year, three year, uh, versus what do I get? How much bandwidth do I get with this? How many users with this? How many minutes? Um, that's what I see the beauty of uh, Digium Cloud Services. Is that it's an all open, all unlocked feature. Yeah. So um, just to kind of wrap up, so if I'm a reseller out there and I'm looking for a distributor to use, um, tell me why I would choose Jenny over anybody else. What makes you guys great? Uh, it's a really good question. Uh, one of the important things that Jenny does every day is we really support our customers at a, a very deep level. We're very responsive. We're um, a privately held company. Um, we're a little bit smaller. We're more agile. Customer service and the ability to take uh, customers' requirements with our sales teams and with experts like Frank and come back and give them, here's the design you need. Here's the solution you need. The sales reps have a lot of training, and they can take um, a design to a pretty deep level. It's something a little bit different than you see out there with some of the broadline distributors is that extra value, extra touch, quick response time, and really depth of knowledge. We spend hundreds of hours a year training our sales reps, getting them certified on the different platforms that we have. We're doing the same thing with Digium and Digium Cloud so that we can really bring, not just with somebody like Frank, who's an expert, but our entire sales team can support our customers at the depth that they need to be able to go out there and sell the solution. I think to add to that, uh, Brian, is currently Jenny is the only um, master distributor that is also a hardware distributor, um, so they can um, be a one one stop for them. Uh, whether it's for you know if they well, once they do the um, network readiness assessment, if they need to get switches or um, you know anything extra to go with that, they don't have to go to another uh, distributor for that. They can uh, get that with Jenny. Yeah, whether it's the endpoint devices, configuration services, cloud deployed solutions, on-premise, we really have everything that they need to go out there and serve their end users. And one last thing to add to that is uh, Jenny ships until 7 o'clock Eastern time, so uh, we can help those folks out that maybe are you know in different time zones versus having like a 3 o'clock Eastern uh, cutoff. It's the, the 7 p.m. Yeah, that's great. All right, great. Well, um, we're we're really excited to have you guys as a partner of ours. We're excited to have you as master agents. So I really appreciate appreciate uh, the two of you coming on Digium Live today. So uh, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Right. Well, thank you for uh, enjoying this uh, episode of Digium Live, and we look forward to the next one. Have a fantastic day.